All right, gamers, we're back with Slay the Spire. We're back and we're playing Ascension Level 4. Ascension Level 4? Did we not, like, hang on, give me a second. We're gonna go, the, the, the video within the video here. Give me a second. Hello uh, to the gamers. We approached and Real achieved original. divinity <laughs> in the last episode. Oh, okay, that no, that's right. right. Ascension <laughs> level four is right, okay. Bosses are deadlier, get ready. Bosses are deadlier. We won our last run. Uh, thanks to Ritual Dagger and a little bit of uh, chicanery. Like, I remember we, we had an eruption that allowed us to not die because it did one more damage than the enemy had HP left. That's a big one. Turnip? No frailty is good, man. It might inhibit our ability to elite hunt, but, like, what would we be wanting from the elites? Probably something that kept us from becoming frail. Might not be the most bombastic relic, but uh, it's pretty good. I was enjoying the, the one we had last time, though. You gotta forgive me, that was yesterday. I don't, I don't remember things that are that far away. I'm just trying to, like, I don't know. I kind of hate to just take damage unnecessarily, I guess, but I, I, I'm not comfortable leaving myself in a double damage state. Now this turn, this turn would be a beautiful one to kind of like go off on, but we don't have the... We don't have the cognitive capacity to go off in this turn because we lack eruption. Now here we've got eruption, so now we're freaking talking. Finally, we got the opportunity to do some damage. Um, so let me kill you in one second. We're all in a mess here. I gotta lower this. Um, it was some kind of clasp we had last time, right? It was like um, every unplayed card in your hand when you end turn generates one block. That was doing some wonders, or maybe that was two runs ago. I don't know. Um, I like Wreath of Flame. I think Wreath of Flame can be an extremely important card. But we don't have any, like, payoff for it yet. It is five additional damage no matter what, but I think we'd be better off with, like, a Sash Whip early for the damage. And I'll just be honest, I mean, Swivel can kind of go crazy, too. I can get Swivel and Mental Fortress. I take them both. Even if we don't end up going straight up, like, Stance Dancing... I'll lose two goals. That's a really minor loss. I was just thinking there might be a way that we could recover health. I'm going to gain 275 gold, though. I think we, we have it in us to go a little risky. We need to... I, I think I made a mistake in my pathing, to be honest with you. I think we definitely want to uh, be more aggressive fighting enemies so that we can get more cards. Save it, save it. It stings, but save it. Um, because right now we don't have, that was the wrong card. <laughs> right now we don't have, uh, we don't have enough high value cards in our deck to really like feel super confident fighting elites. There's a lot to like here. I think just having a bowling bash is important. I hate to say it, man. I, I really do. I think we need to rest. It's a mature decision, but I think it's a, a, an unfortunate decision to feel like you have to make. So I would, I, ideally, I'm, I'm getting bad vibes off this one just to start, I'll be honest with you. Ideally, we would wait until we played Mental Fortress, but I think we gotta... Well, hear me out. Dump it, dump it. Probably keep the miracle, see if you, we didn't get Mental Fortress. Swivel next turn. I think you gotta go off. The, the weakness is only one turn. Which obviously, what a horrible decision on my part there. <laughs> Saved one HP by using a miracle, like just nonsense, a nonsensical decision, but... Okay, now... I mean, I, I really don't want to take 40 damage. But I, I think we have to get in a position where I can, I can really feed it to you. And I'm starting to get a little bit, a little bit scared, honestly. I'd like to do 27 damage to you on this turn. Mmm, it's going to happen. Goodbye. I deserve that one. I think we, we played badly, we made bad decisions, but at least it was uh at least it was early. Okay, so let, I, I feel like I've been bad early as the watcher for sure. Sometimes bad late as well. <laughs> True, caught, you caught me. So I'm doing something a little bit different here. I am endeavoring to fight as many enemies as possible while we have the lament. 
because I want the opportunity to add cards to our deck. I mean, third eye is really... Scrying means you you could deal with curses better because you don't have to draw uh, half the garbage that you're, like, concerned about drawing, including curses. It generates a reasonable amount of block for itself. I'd love to get, like, a, a beautiful attack, of course. Whenever you scry, gain block. I really need an attack, but I, I like that the two cards we got at the start synergize with each other. Maybe that makes me a little bit basic. <laughs> I'll take a Wreath of Flame just to enable something in the future. Like here, we gotta see what we're getting. We don't need to play Vigilance. Probably do want to play that. So I'm thinking, set up a Wreath of Flame for later. Put up as much block as you can. Obviously, the temptation is to go in on Eruption here, but I don't think we could do it. I, I hate to say it, man. I think we might be in a position where we just let this guy take our gold. And trust me when I say I wish it weren't like that, but I don't. we, we just didn't add attacks to our deck, so I, I don't think there's much else we can do here. I'll be seeing you later. That feels really bad. Do I get a card? <laughs> We need some damage, man. I, I don't think Consecrate is all that, but I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm, I'm staying in. Every fourth room, huh? Well, every th little, little thing she does is magic. You don't hear me crying about it. Wreath of Flame Consecrate seems like a decent combo. Um, we don't really have the gold to make a shop work. Let's, let's give this a try. So I think you might just be trying to make Eruption pop here. It would be nice if there were, like, other attacks. Because <laughs> I, I can't just pop Eruption, do one damage, and then take double damage for the rest of the fight. That's, like, that's madness. I guess I do want to draw all my attacks next turn. I think this is going to be pretty bad. <laughs> I'd love to draw... Well, we didn't, but that's okay. Um, that's all right. Save... Uh, here's how I think you do it, okay? Wreath of Flame, you're going to pop once you're in Wrath. Until we're in Wrath, we don't have to pop it. And I recognize we're, we're, very, we're slow playing like the one elite you're not supposed to slow play. But it was only so that we could, you know, pop out thusly and feel a little bit better about it. Because 5 extra damage becomes 10 extra damage with this. Now, are we doing 37 damage next turn? Probably not. Definitely not. I think it's gotta be done, brother. It, it, it bothers me to do so, but I think it's gotta be done. And then this is like, never tell me the odds. Thank God the energy made sense. Okay, we get there. Gambling chip is crazy good, dude. It's crazy good. Um... Follow-up, we, we need more attacks. I'm, I'm being very risky here, by the way. Very risky. But I think it's like, it's necessary for us to get our deck going. Otherwise, like, there's no, there's no point. Like, we're just resting, fighting elites, resting, fighting elites, etc., etc. Ain't no point to the dang game. That's Soldier Boy, that's not me, it's Soldier Boy. Take your concerns up with Soldier Boy. So that was a, a really good first turn, I think. Wreath of Flame Consecrate is like the, a must play. And then I think we gotta start working you down. Even though we, we take five in the process, five is not catastrophic. And then you just play your cards. We only have to do six to you next turn, and then we just gotta surf on the wave of, uh, of dazes. Okay, well that's not gonna happen. Next turn looks pretty sick, though. Probably no blocks, because we got two strikes. Maybe I should have gotten rid of a strike. Well... It does suck to be on five life. But we probably got you. Yeah, we got you. Ma Bank Colorless Potion. I mean, this is kind of crazy. Just Lucky is... Oh, I mean, it's pretty bad damage, if we're being honest. But two block and then, I mean, it's basically five block because of our power. 
Dark stone, not really what you're looking for right now. <laughs> All right, so we're kind of in the, the spin cycle right now. We're fighting elites just to rest, which is what I did not want to do. I think this is a, an acceptable slow play, right? You can like Nirvana. This will take you down to one energy. This will bring you back to one energy. And then this, well, we could have entered Vigilance, but something like that. Good, good. I, I think we can get out of this. It, it depends a little bit on the elite that we're going to go up against, obviously. Um, I guess I, we can get away with that. Then this. And then Consecrate is a great card to draw next turn. And it'll, it'll kill you by itself. We need probably like more stance dance enabling cards, in which case we'll feel a lot better about this. And this is one of them. Tantrum, Tantrum Wreath of Flame is really what we're trying to cook with here. Um, so I think we should basically just try to draw into that. Master of Strategy is like the exact card I want. It's still good. Like this is a, a good situation. I don't think we have time to make the Cultist Potion work. I think we just got to go all in. And then scry. We don't need to see a defend because we have to ruin your life. Now the question is... <laughs> I think just looking at what we have in our draw pile, we have enough next turn to kill you, so I'm not going to enter Vigilance. I could play third eye and dump... There's no re I, I wanted to dump a defend, but a defend is going to be one of the last cards we draw, so it wasn't there. That's okay. Now that was that looked scary. Cloak clasp, welcome back. And sure, more more energy early on. Energy can can play a big role, probably. That's what it sounds like like a smart person would say about slay the spire. So I'm just going to say that. Um, this 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 and all miracle in nirvana you never know we're probably killing you this turn we're definitely killing you this turn foresight seems to work so i don't really i don't know i don't have a theme for the deck this is a crazy one i'm just trying to make it work i guess is what i'm trying to say Let's third eye. I would love to see those cards next turn. We have 10 block. We're going to take four. I can live with that. I can live with that. We're n Well, actually, I was just thinking, like, if I had entered Wrath, could I have just killed you? I don't know. Well, that's something to work with the next time. We don't take four because of Cloak Clasp, man. Yes, I would love to see a strike next turn. Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I, I'm worried that, like, if I'm being honest and truthful, I feel like I've kind of constructed a terrible deck. Like, it, it's slow unless it draws the perfect cards. It doesn't do uh, any damage. Maybe it's just, maybe it's sour all the way through, you know? Probably, there's no reason not to play Wreath of Flame. You're just, uh, you're just throwing away perfectly good points here. And then, sure. Okay, so we, we got some stance dancing. If I'm being honest with you, I think we can afford to smith. We need to find ways to deal more damage, though. Tantrum being a little bit better will pair very nicely with Wreath of Flame. We're definitely going to pop a Cultist Potion. We're probably going to pop a Dex Potion, too. So we need this. We don't need our miracles, but we probably don't want to draw too many of them, like, dead in the future. I think this first turn is very important. Yes, no, no, no. Okay, send them. We can always use this now or later if we feel like we need to. I think we need it. I think we need it. Well, I want to break you before you can attack, obviously. We're getting Tantrum, Consecrate, 
Tantrum will break you, and then we want to draw, like, defense next turn. We Well, this retains, right? Okay, so we'd, probably, we'd play Wreath of Flame, Tantrum, and then for sure pass turn, and then if we don't get Vigilance, we play Tranquility. Okay. I could play follow up, like that's that's kind of a given, and we could play just lucky too. I don't want to see tantrum. Well, I do want to. I, no, I don't want to see it next turn. I want to see it the turn after that. We took one. Wow, that's fine. And you're doing twenty, which kind of sucks. But honestly, if you're only hitting me for one, I don't see a need to burn tranquility yet. We can do that in the future. Let's draw this miracle so that it's not clogging us up in the future. And this is the turn where you want, honestly, this is probably the turn where you want to get these guys out of here. We can just enter Vigilance. Defend Wreath of Flame. And then the dream is that we get our Tantrum on this turn. So we, we, sure, we'll keep that around. We don't need to defend probably. No Tantrum, but Eruption is pretty good. So we can Eruption. Follow up. You're breaking. We should have played just lucky first. Again, it's Tantrum. We don't want to see it next turn. Sorry, I, I, I know it's like annoying, <laughs> maybe, that I'm not talking about anything except just scrying my cards, but like I, I have to pay attention to this. So the follow up is a given. Do we need to be in Tranquility? We'd love to see more defense. We don't really need to be in Tranquility, man. We can just accept taking like one damage to save this to get us out of jail if we need to in the future. And then on this one, again, we'd love to see Tantrum next turn. Vigilance me. And now we, we have Tantrum coming out next turn. Wreath of Flame would be the perfect card. And there it is. So, Wreath of Flame, Tantrum. We made it. I wasn't even paying attention. We made it. Now the question is, what do we need? Instantly killing an enemy with under 30 HP has to be in the cards for us here. And then honestly, I i mean, I love energy, but Calling Bell is hard to say no to, especially with so much scry, we never need to see the curse. I, ice Cream allows us to play our miracles on turn one and keep the energy. Now, Strike Dummy um, and the Boot, though I don't consider those to be like transformative relics, but we're alive, we're alive. Now, I think, like, on this floor, I should almost plan around Ma Bank. I could try to fight two elites, but it scares me. I like maybe, like, this path, one elite, and then this shop instead of this early shop. That way we have a, a chance to farm, like, a reasonable amount of gold. That's right. For the first time in forever, I'm paying attention to my relics, man. Why would you keep Tantrum in your hand, given the circumstances here? Perfectly cromulent question. I guess Boot does make uh, Just Lucky better. There is that. I gotta hit you. I gotta hit you. Um, we love to see attacks, especially because you're not attacking. You're not dead. I'll just stay right here, though. Because we get to play, uh, we get Scry. Come on, you gotta get rid of these, brother. We just need one attack. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, just keeping the defense hopefully shouldn't be an issue. Now, upgraded rushdown. Now, that's a card. That's a card we can hang our hat on. Don't want to see it. I'm kind of okay seeing everything else, to be honest with you. And there's maybe a great opportunity for this potion. Might as well. And, uh, I mean, we're taking a little hit, but... We got a regen potion in our pocket. This one's a bit of a slap in the face, but it's the way she goes sometimes. I'm feeling a lot more comfortable on this floor, for sure. Yeah, this feels a lot better. Strength potion. We don't need a second rushdown. Halt is pretty amazing. You draw it off of rushdown. You get nine additional block, maybe get a chance to stance dance again. I'm normally zero cost blocks I find kind of underwhelming, but 
lasts until you spend gold at a shop. Well, this uh, last time I checked, this isn't a shop, so we should have nothing to worry about. Now, we, I actually think, like... I mean, we haven't removed any... I recognize we have Strike Dummy, okay? But I feel like we could use the healing that comes from this. So having not removed uh, Strike seems like a big bonus for me. I don't know if we need Wreath of Flame either. I gotta... Something like this might go okay. Because I haven't taken any damage yet. And I, I gotta get in the mindset of playing my Miracle on turn one. Because even if we don't want uh, the energy right away, we can just keep it moving forward with Ice Cream. Now that I guess like... On that one, I ended up spending it, but I was spending it to try to, like, get to my power faster, so. You're not gonna die. I'm still gonna hit you. We're taking some damage in the process, but that's why we put bites in the deck, is so that we could, we could tank those. Okay, well, this is gonna be a bit of a mess. Rush down. Tantrum. We, we're holding Tranquility. Now this is gonna like, we're just gonna draw dazes next turn, I think. <laughs> Cause I'm, I still gotta play this. And I gotta play this, so I gotta play this. But we take one damage this turn. If, if you were not attacking this turn, that would have gone crazy for a guy like me. Uh, sounds insane. I think the right play is nothing. Cause rushdown's likely to just draw dazes. I don't wanna see that, please. You know, might be the time. So I added two more dazes to my draw pile. I'm, I'm, I'm in the spin cycle. I'm in the definition of the spin cycle, man. I got a hit ya. I love not taking damage. On the bright side, if we're focusing on the positive, we're sure generating a lot of energy to use like one day. And then we got a heal off this two times. A little lighter than I'd like to be here, but that's okay. Talk to the hand might be the play, but then we, the stance dancing is so important. Ah, we need block though. We're, we're struggling under the weight of low blocks. Do I want to replace anything? I don't know. I feel like this is kind of like a goaded hand. I would hold. Strength Potion into Tantrum kills you, allows a Bite to kill you. Foresight is just good. Miracle into Bite heals us a little bit. I, I hope if we get, because our tempo seems pretty good, this might be the sort of fight where we could just stay in Wrath the whole time. That's my dream, at least. We're probably able to draw Tranquility next. Okay, well, that's, this is actually a, an insane draw, I think, right? Because can't we do Rush Down, Vigilance, Tantrum, Bite, and then for the rest of the fight, every time we hit the Gremlin Leader, we're going to gain block. So this looks like, who would have thought against the basic enemies, we're like struggling, but against the, the boss, we're loving life. I should have slowed down and played more Bites, man. I love Wheel Kick at least doing some damage. That's, that's important for a guy like me. Now let's think about what we got going on here. Judgment gets a lot better. Wreath of Flame gets a lot better. Okay. We're st I'm starting to feel like I got the game locked. Like instead of them locking me up, we got them locked up. So do me a favor on this one. Huge draw. Uh, my favor, as crazy as it sounds, is play attacks and enter wrath. This is a scry, I'm assuming. Okay, we've entered Wrath. Kill this fool. Bite only does 14. Bite, Judgment. I mean, there's a lot of damage coming out here. <laughs> I just hate that I didn't upgrade Judgment. I guess you could see what you draw, right? Like, you play a Miracle for sure. 
See what you gotta you gotta get the kill. In this situation, you gotta get the kill. Now I'm like, you could always play tranquility. And that'll have the damage, which I didn't want to play, but I think is actually necessary, unfortunately. Because I don't, I don't think we had the math necessary to, to kill the right most one on that one. And I wish we did. But I don't think we did. But we're not sweating it. Like, the, the fight looks pretty good. I kind of hate being vulnerable, but... I guess I should... Start there. there. Tantrum. Pretty pretty important for a guy like me. Does 16 damage. It's not enough to kill you. Which is like horrific news. <laughs> but it's also very important. We have bird face urn. I mean, we're gonna we're about to go to the shop too, so we we got the ability to come back from this. I think. Ah, an attack that puts us into calm. Like we're ne we're now trying to get the dance part of stance dance enabled. We we would love to see um, mental state. What is it called? Every time you change stance, you gain four block. That would be beautiful. I see the power of a. Um, of a kill shot, for sure. Like a, a Ragnarok Wreath of Flame kill shot. We do have a 29 card deck. That's, that's way too thick. Still got 304 gold. Two strength is... I mean, it's really like four strength with your in, when you're in Wrath. I, I see the appeal of Stone Calendar, too. Don't get me wrong. I think it's important. I know that the deck is, is thick today, my friends, and there's no guarantees. Draw is also in the cards as like something very important for us. Like we can wreath, tantrum, consecrate, get lucky, etc., etc., but like, I don't know if it does that much for us. Eight additional damage, we'll do 11 damage four times. We could always bring it back. I think we replace nothing. Wreath, Tantrum. Crescendo, we won't need. Consecrate. Bring back. Oh, Tantrum goes in our draw pile. This is disastrous, man. <laughs> this is horrendous. Bring back a 10 damage Consecrate. Are we just dead? I could kill you, but then that makes you stronger. Oh, but well, you're gonna oh. like he's he's gonna kill me anyway. I think we got nothing doing on this one, man. Well, uh, we're gonna try one more. Now, this is with the caveat that I have like 43 minutes until I have to go pick up my daughter from daycare, and the watcher runs take me like an hour each. Curse for a rare card. As far as I'm concerned, this is a dream come true. I, like, I feel like we solved our, our last run's problem already. Like, just by having Conjure Blade, I at least have damage. Like, I have a one-cost 18 damage card in the default state. I'm not blaming the Watcher, by the way, although I do find the character... <clears throat> ...less satisfying to play than the other characters, we might say. Mostly because you really have to do the math every turn under punishment of death. Sure, it might be nice to gain seven block exit stance. I can, I can see the value there. So this is a beautiful start, because look at this. All of a sudden, we have a, a one energy 36 damage card. Not when we're weak, but still. It's the thought that counts. We won't be weak next turn. We can use one energy to kill you, two energy to kill you, potentially. I mean, I think you just start here and then... I don't have the energy. You have to, you have to set up the follow-up first, bro. Okay. Also, maybe I'm playing badly. Maybe I'm playing a little badly. It's been suggested. But this one, it, it feels very nice to begin with. 
And we got 13 block right there. I'll take one. Why not? I guess the other answer is why. It's not like we can use our miracle like next hand, but or ne we can definitely use it next hand. We can't use it next round. I mean to say, I feel like we're getting some very blessed shops here. The, the pity timer must have gone off. It's actually like I think it's better to kill. It's probably best to do this and then hit you. Okay. Because we, if we hit you, we become vulnerable. Maybe we could have like made it through the storm, but we don't need to. So it's so nice knowing your odds of drawing the expunger are like so high as well. Draw is always nice, even if they're set up. Okay, now I, I genuinely think we're in an awesome position to elite farm. And I think that uh, this four energy expunger is a real part of that. The dream would be if we could also enter Wrath on this turn. Nine damage takes you to 74, and then this will do 72. So I actually, I don't think I've got it in me. And then like this plus this doesn't quite, well, what about 36 puts you on 47. I can put you on 41, it's like not even close. Give me a little block. Obviously play Expunger. And the, the draw that we got from Sanctity is good to get us back to our Expunger faster. That's my, my game plan, at least. We should kill you this turn. That was totally fine. It, it didn't go perfectly, but it was totally fine. Now, Ragnarok's tough to play. Crush Joints does give us easy vulnerability, which can really help us out. But Indignation is like another... It's a cheaper Wrath Enabler, which is also really nice. I think you just gotta be sensible on this one. So we... I, I'm, I'm trying and I, I think I'm thankfully succeeding at putting myself back into like, how do we win the game? mode instead of just like what cards are good mode and it th there is a distinct difference but how to win the game is set up a big conjure blade and then play the expunger foresight can be pretty nice too but i let's play it we're early and honestly we have multiple elites on this pad like we could possibly fight three elites but i think we might benefit from actually just making our our deck better Right now, I, I was like really suffering from a bloated, and I'm not just being humorous, a bloated deck on our last one. And we had so many cards and so few of them were upgraded. I was trying to patch the holes by like adding more cards, but then I couldn't upgrade the cards that I had, you know? I'd rather lose the gold, man. Keep your HP high so we, oh, this is not, not having any AoE is annoying here. It's like, it's not that bad. Because, like, we can definitely kill one for one energy. Judge one. I think you gotta go just because, like, you're so annoying. And then we still get a, a very lethal expunger out here. And we're dealing with an enemy that we can control a lot easier. We don't need to go indignation. We can just like this is a perfect opportunity to slow play this. We actually got an amazing draw on turn one. Guys, want some cookies? Okay. This this feels like so much easier to pilot. We might want something like Sands of Time. You know, it's expensive, but we can hold it in our hand until it's the right time to play it. I'm not going in. I'm I'm playing so much more conservatively now. Who's the boss? Pretty annoying. I'm gonna accept the, the curse. Maybe it's kind of a, you know, a basic way to play the game, but it's risk averse, but you can understand because I, I had two very annoying losses. <laughs> Hopefully you can, you can understand where my aversion to risk comes from. Plus, with Scrying, we never have to see Parasite unless we want to see Parasite. Spoilers, I don't really want to see it. Ah, this is what I want to see. 
So next turn might be a little spicy, but the Expunger is more than capable of doing 90 damage a turn. Draw Wrath. Thank you. And we knew the Expunger was coming, so we could hit you with something like that. I could hit you for like 100. That seems pretty good. Yeah, I, I think that we've... I mean, we probably could have fought the... Uh, the mushrooms, it's becoming clear, but like that uh, was also very satisfying in its own way. So we're not really a mantra deck. A, a retained blasphemy actually seems like a beautiful play to me. Am I wrong? Because we can just retain it until we draw an expunger and then big enemies like won't be able to do anything. And then it is, it's always tempting to transform with Pandora's box. We have, it's a good run for it, man. We've got better attacks than strike. We've got better defense than defend. So like, what's the risk, man? I mean, the risk is you get bad cards, I guess. Another Conjure Blade, better block, Stance Dance, better strike, better block. Probably you don't really fit, but it might not be necessary. I think that, I think we would take that as an absolute win, man. It makes the deck a little slower to play because I got to think about what I'm doing, but. Okay, let's fight some enemies. So as always, I mean, I'm a big believer in as big of an expunger as we can get. Now it only does 50, which is a lot, but I mean, you play it. I guess I'm, it, it shows how good we're doing that I'm disappointed that uh, it didn't one tap you. I don't even have to crunch the numbers on this one. Now that may come back to bite me, but... <laughs> I would say pass. We, we're, we're getting used to the cards we already got. So unless I see something, you know, truly very, very tempting, then... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be somewhat chill about this. Four block and a safety? Yeah, well, you know, I got fake tan hands in a hoop. You don't hear me talking about it every day. Again, I'm like, Blasphemy takes us to five energy. Sands of Time nearly kills you and Judgment finishes the job. So, upgraded Blasphemy is a, is a big one for me. That's high on the list. I think I would like to transform two cards. Like, I think I would love to transform uh, Worship, which doesn't fit, and... I mean, honestly, I don't think we're going to be doing much with Inner Peace. Because we're, we're actually not stance dancing that much. Third Eye and Follow Up seems easier to, to use to me. Seems easier to understand. Upgrade two attacks. We have no strikes. I'm definitely going to take advantage of that. Those are cards that may never have been upgraded at a campfire, which I think it, it is good then. It sucks that you're going to make me confused, which might make my expunger more expensive, but I'm still going all in on a 63 damage expunger. Hey, we could draw it and it could cost zero. A lot of other stuff costs zero. We, we possibly could have killed you this turn if I'd like paid attention, but it's a problem for another day. You know what? I'd love to draw five cards. Expunger does 60 sands of time. Expunger. Look at that. Take that any day of the week. Now. <laughs> Our other Conjure Blade, I see. But I, I think Blasphemy is a very important possible like win condition for us. Now, we're better at single target than lots of enemies. So this is its own sort of can of worms. I still think that we, we greatly respect a powerful expunger. And that one is still pretty good, even though we're going to be in the mix a little bit here. Because this guy's going to do like, yeah, 30 damage. This might not be the right turn to play your other conjure blade. But we really don't have much else going for us. 
we basically, I would say with no sense of irony, I think we chose by far the worst course of action. <laughs> Okay, now we're still alive, which was not a guarantee. You have to die. You have to die. I would love to draw our other expunger next turn. Oh, but we're gonna draw it right away. I would love to draw evaluate right away then, because we can't play the wheel kick energy anyway, because of our energy. I think we probably just gotta hit you for this. Next turn, we might have Blasphemy Expunger, like, killing you. But we have to do the math. So I can hit you for 60. That's obviously not going to kill you, but this will be another 54 and this is free. So I'm pretty sure we, we get there. That could have been worse, but it could have been a lot better. Gain Mantra at the start of your turn. Not really what we're looking for. Um, I think we got to throw caution to the wind a little bit. Calipers is good. Pantograph is resting without resting. And against a single target, we should be in a better position. Um, Distilled Chaos is like too risky to use. Hang on, I got to go check on the door for a second. All right, we're so back. Keeping in mind, you need to play Conjure Blade at some point to win. I'm going to play Deceive Reality, Evaluate, take damage, which is going to put a wound into my draw pile, but we have an Expunger waiting to pop. This isn't the turn I wanted it to pop on, which is pretty unfortunate because it's like our win condition, but we can shuffle through the rest of our cards pretty quickly. So forget this Conjure Blade. Scry it up, brother. I don't want to see this garbage. I want to get to drawing our Expunger and Divinity as fast as possible. Blasphemy, what have you. Indignation follow-up insight. Okay, draw follow-up. Send it. All I want is to not enter Wrath. Okay, that's it. We're good. We're good. <laughs> Follow-up was not the right play in hindsight, but okay. Scrying is good, and we might as well follow up. Now, I, I don't know. I think we're kind of... We're falling behind a lot here. We have our Expunger, though. Maybe it's worth holding Judgment just to see. So we enter Blasphemy, we go to 5 energy, this does 60, this does 54, Judgment gets you. It does 90, I'm not good at mathematics. Well, let's not be flattering, I'm not good at arithmetic. Whenever you scry, I, I get that we scry every turn, so that's kind of like a metallicize, but it's a metallicize that costs us 2 cards. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm being a little too precious about it. There's a very, like, <laughs> there's an order to things. We just need everything to be set up perfectly. Because <laughs> if it doesn't line up perfectly, things can go very, very wrong. I guess I'm taking 12 to play the best possible Conjure Blade. No, there's, there's other ways to win. We can take less, play a, a really bad Expunger. Don't play the other Expunger because it, it'll be one energy for zero, which is like obviously even worse, but hang on. My thinking is just that like Expunger is, is obviously like important for us, but I'm, I'm leaving myself a blind spot, which is that as, after you draw Sands of Time, you know, that plus uh, Blasphemy is enough to get you through most enemies anyway. Maybe we should be pivoting to trying to, like, generate Wrath, or sorry, Mantra. 
Shim Simmering Fury is really good too. Even though we're not like a more traditional stance dance deck. I don't know, man. I'm starting to get a little pessimistic. I don't think I needed to play my Miracle now that I look at it. Because we're not doing any damage. <laughs> Wheel Kick, Conjure Blade, Deceive Reality. Nobody's attacking. It's an amazing turn for like... I would say just like a Conjure Blade and chill. Now killing two enemies makes Blasphemy a little tougher to work around. 35 block. That is a spicy meatball. So you do 40 damage. I mean, we could definitely... It, killing one is not a problem. Killing one is impossible. <laughs> But, we can definitely not die. And that's, that's like pretty important. Right? We can not die right now at least. I recognize as well that we have calipers. I'm just trying to figure out what, how we're gonna really capitalize on that. I mean, we could easily enter Wrath. This is kind of okay. Maybe it's better than kind of okay. Why not enter Wrath? Make everybody annoyed with us? I guess I would follow up first and then make everybody annoyed with us. Kill you. We're trying to draw our Expunger. So anything we play, well, this will kill you. So I don't know why I'm being so precious about it. I guess because Expunger is like a cooler card, but we didn't get it. Ambrosia entered Divinity Stance immediately. That's not the enemies that I wanted to see here. <laughs> Obviously. Uh, drawing an early Sands of Time is pretty important, though, I guess. I don't know what we're going to do with pressure points. It's kind of just the future considerations. I think we're dead. I know I've been saying that a lot, but I've been like, I've been right now and then, too. Like, we gotta do that. We can play the best Conjure Blade we're, we're capable of playing. But then we gotta kill two enemies. A Judgment would be like a, a sick get there. We didn't really draw much, honestly. I think we have to enter Divinity to, to just to stand a chance. And then we can at least kill you. Put up some reasonable block. I mean, I don't think there's any other way to say it, except that we essentially got, like, the greatest potion of all time. Without that potion, we would have probably faced Oblivion. I don't think there was any way out of it. We got another one? Okay, I'm, I'm, that's a sign. I don't believe in signs, but that's a sign. <laughs> we are going as much mantra as we can shove into the deck. Are we going to be breaking your block? Yes. Vulnerability is important then. Okay. This one has become way more of a puzzle. I know we have Pantograph, but I think I need the HP from the, from the rest anyway, which is very unfortunate. Okay. To start with, tank 18 to play your best possible expunger. That's, that's a price I'm willing to pay. This isn't so bad. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. We can stall a little bit. They are going to get stronger over time. I do wanna see all three of these, I think. We're biding our time. Okay, you're taking a turn off. Big mistake. We know we got a big turn next time. We'd love to be in Wrath, I think. Start here. I'm going to hold the insight, not play it this turn, because I don't want to draw stuff I can't afford the energy for. And next turn might be a little spicy. You're doing 27. That's not enough to put us on lethal, which is fantastic news. It's the worst expunger I've ever seen, okay? But still, 
Well, it's this one. I mean, 35 is not that bad. It's my age. If you're not going to play any attacks, though, <laughs> like, what's the... <laughs> what's your end game? Because you're probably not going to do 402 damage in one turn. Unless... I have to do it, like... Well... Yeah. Let me see what we're cooking with here. Actually, I, I, I like this a lot. Ended up working out quite nicely. So now you got a reasonable amount of vulnerability. I have passively entered Divinity, which is beautiful. I wouldn't like to take 21 damage, but we also have to take advantage of this turn. We could just hold Sands of Time for a minute. Uh, probably wouldn't empty body, that's for sure. Probably say, like, pay it forward, get more Mantra going for the future. 16, 3, 21 block. Okay. Expunger. Bad expunger next turn. I never want to see it. A pressure points that gets better with time. I do want to see it. All of a sudden, faith is back on the menu. Because I can erupt. Sands of time. Obviously, we could wait for a blasphemy turn there, but like follow up. Maybe, maybe cut first. See what you're getting. Judgment's probably not going to pop this turn which means I should put it in the discard pile. But honestly, putting all this stuff in the discard pile makes it a lot easier to play Sands of Time, knowing we can start to draw it, like, right after this. We might be in range for, like, a Blasphemy kill now. I, I mean, we couldn't have asked for better than that, obviously. Still alive, uh... We have a problem with energy. We also have a problem with block. I don't think we have a problem attacking. Like, obviously with, like, Divinity, this could go crazy, but the, the block seems important, and we really need, like, we need energy. I think we just got to accept the curse. Which is not even that bad, but... Okay, don't know Decca. We want probably this path. And don't spend all your money at an early shop. Okay, I got it, I got it. I, I'm thinking it through. Check out this action. Had to do it in this order so that I could then get the energy refund to get the judgment back after. Now, I don't like playing a full price Sands of Time, but that's what we drew, so... You take it up with your boss, okay? Obviously, they're gonna be coming back. There's <laughs> not a whole lot I could do about that, okay? I've got a very limited amount of... of tools in the toolbox right now. You gotta work with me. Always nice to... kill you. Um, and then we can do a reasonable amount of damage off that as well. I mean, I'm almost like, maybe we should just go all in with Blasphemy, man. Do we have another attack? We have Pressure Points. Pressure Points isn't really an attack, though. How about an attack? How about you draw, like, an attack? Vigilance? What am I gonna do with that? It was still a good turn. And, like, I, I don't think we're far off from... Blasphemy kill shot. <laughs> Undo, please. I got. I don't know why. I don't I, I? I played the cards in the wrong order. It's as simple as that. Um, this has to get us there. Like it's. It's just math, man. It's just math. Look at that. Okay, um, another Prey, I'm telling you, I feel like maybe just, you know you're desperate if, if Prayer's your only option, but we might be in that situation right now, man, for all I know. The kind of guy like me, take a little bit of damage, but get a, a decent expunger out there. Yeah, I'd say you've been judged, unworthy, or whatever. Um... I'd love to kill you. Getting close. It's a, quite an expensive way to do damage, but... 
I was going to say it's not getting any cheaper, but that's like one of the cards for which that's demonstrably not the case. So what are we doing here? Um, I mean, trying to set up the perfect turn to get the kill is really the, it's the answer. Unfortunately, it's annoying. I'm, I'm slow playing it probably more than I have to, but... I, I, if I can put up 20 block, <laughs> we can just play the ex expunger. But I can't put up 20 block. So, I get another expunger, which is, is also good. As long as we can draw it and then put up 20 block. Or... Blaspheme? Oh, wait, 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 three mantra... Give me a second here. I'm cooking. We want that other prey. Then we play safety. Cut. We're going to get the other prey, but I'm not going to have the energy necessary to play it to enter divinity to play my cards. Oh my god, but now I'm in divinity passively. Okay, fantastic news. Wonderful news. Go ahead and give me 15 block and I can hit you one time. <laughs> I'm embarrassed by the, the slow speed that I'm playing at here, just so you know. You're not the only one. But it's, it's working, I think. These guys might be a touch annoying. Not like the ideal draw on turn one either. I got an idea, because I'm, I'm genuinely like, you know. I'm a little concerned about how this is going here. Like a potion's not a bad idea. Now, entering Wrath is potentially a, a game-losing idea, but drawing extra cards is potentially a, a game-winning idea. So, we definitely need to kill the one that's doing 40 damage. That's not a problem. You know what my problem is on this run? I've greatly underestimated, and it happens now and then, I've greatly underestimated the power of, uh... That's funny. <laughs> Don't, like, forget the opportunity cost, bro. Just get this out here. I've greatly underestimated the power of Wrath. I'm trying to mess around, like, get the perfect turn, when it, you, you realize pretty quickly you can literally just do double damage to most enemies on most encounters, and, like make it through just fine. Like, let me let me prove it to you right here, hopefully. <laughs> it's not the ideal turn for it, is what I'm gonna say. Yet, I know we have an eruption in hand, but like, we, we got little else. I would, I would be happy to slow play this. I wish that there was like a, like that to me it made sense with the judgment, but I don't think it does. If we're going to do it, it's got to be on you, of course. Okay. You guys do do a lot of damage. I think it's been mentioned before. I mean, this is a, a kind of a crazy... T I guess we want to do this. Because we can just play Sands of Time cheaper next turn. Uh, it's... <laughs> it's been a bit of a mess. Does 18, I mean, here's what I was thinking, is that it's like, pop that, probably this comes next. We don't kill you, which is embarrassing. But we don't die in the process, and you definitely do die next turn. Right? And you do 40? You're not going to do 40, though, because you're actually going to do 120 damage. So I would say that's definitely worth it. What do we get? Whenever you scry, scry, scry harder. Maybe. You could definitely take my cut through fate. All right, so we're like, I mean, we're rushing this down at this point. Buy three potions. So I just got to check my phone to make sure I didn't miss a message from my daughter's daycare. I got time! I got time! Why did you want three potions? Because I think it's important for us to have choices. 
If we decide this fight's going bad, that smoke bomb's gonna go crazy. Maybe I've just lost all confidence in myself, but I'm like, the fight already looks like it's going bad. <laughs> abort, abort. But that we still might be able to squeeze out a, a victory. Yeah, this just looks horrible. So I'll, I honestly, if we don't buy the potions, I think we die there. So take me to the path that gives me a shop. The boot? I don't need, oh, ah! Is there a world in which, like, I can avoid drawing sanity, uh, sanity on turn one? Like, it's starting to irritate me a little bit. It's not like it's a bad card. Like, I put it in my deck for a reason, but, like, have mercy? Okay, now things are getting serious. This tears it. One attack is like a, it's a slap in the face, honestly. I think it's emblematic of our deck not being good. Um, that I keep drawing cards that I don't play. Like that seems like a horrendous sign. Now we still made it through and we didn't even get hurt that bad, but like the potions do run out at some point. I could see a lot of value in this. Now we need to remove, uh, let's remove injury. You know what? I mean, we're, we're in that kind of position right now. Let's smith, maybe we don't need pantograph or may, maybe we can rely on pantograph, I should say. And let's get the other conjure blade going. <laughs> this is... <laughs> No enemies, please. I mean, we have to be able to heal. I mostly just didn't want to go through the time of fighting another boss, and that's, a, that's an impulse that I should fight against, so I apologize for that. I mean, we, I, I think against this guy, we should probably be able to stay in Wrath form. I continue to underrate Wrath Form even as I say, like, wow, I can't believe I'm underrating Wrath Form so much. We don't even have to stay in Wrath Form. We could just, like, be in Wrath Form for now and then, you know, pop out. We could probably make a sensible decision to pop out of it right now. No? Yes. No, no. Well, actually, that might be nice for energy, so sure, keep it. And Blasphemy, it's always just nice to have it in the hand, I suppose. So that seems like your no-brainer. Like, that, that might put you on lethal. We just have to run the numbers, which is scary. So there's 180 damage plus vulnerability. I, I take three damage when I take an attack. So in my head, that means this means we're good. Let's play this first. Okay, yes, we're good. The game does not lie to you. I'm very happy with my potions as they are. I definitely see utility there. One more shop. We shouldn't need another regen potion, something. Oh, I can't afford brilliance. We shouldn't need another regen potion. Although, you know what? To be able to stack up to 10 regen might actually make a difference. So I don't really know how we made it here, except to say that the Watcher is overpowered and maybe I got a little bit lucky for sure. Playing this early, so important. Now I can pick the cards I actually want to play. Who would have thought? Let's, let's remove a, uh, an artifact from you and just chill here. You know the play now. Get Expunger. Play two weeks to all. Am I crazy to think... I mean, Mantra is always good, too. Am I crazy to think that we have, like, a little synergy here? Do this. Gain block. <laughs> if you're coming next, that's fantastic. Let's get you out of here. Empty mind could work with vigilance. Then talk to the hand. Anytime I hit you, you're going to give me some block. 
there's not much I can do with that information right now. <laughs> oh, I could I could make you weak. Never mind. There is something I could do with that. And then I'll, I'll pop both these. I'm not even worried about the, the one opportunity cost. Conjure Blade. We don't want to see Eruption yet. I know it's a little goofy. 30 damage this turn. Let me hydrate real quick. <clears throat> Next turn, we would get a, a mighty expunger. So I think... Yeah, I'm, slow play him, slow play him. We can afford to slow play it a little bit. Costs one energy to get that. That's okay. <clears throat> now we will not get a, an expunger like crazy, but we have no block. That, for me, is when we go in on a conjure blade. And I'm not worried about the other expunger. But we, it's, it's got to go fast now. What are we at mantra-wise? I think we got to keep something like this. So we're not... Oh, you know what? We probably entered Divinity Stance. Smack you good. Smack you good. Smack you. Keep your divinity pumping. Exit divinity. And then start working on this guy. Vigilance is not really what we need. Follow-up's not really what... Well, your vigilance, empty mind, though, is actually kind of nice. Vigilance, empty mind. <clears throat> Sorry, the, the slow playing is good with Stone Calendar, too, now that I think about it. Insights. You play one heck of a spirit shield, all things considered. Like, spirit shield, deceive reality to give you a better block next turn. And I gotta say, like, the two, uh, the two regen potions stacked may have actually made way more of a difference than I'm, I was originally willing to admit. I'll enter Divinity, because like with only one attack, it's huge overkill, but it does give us the kill, which really, like... I mean, this is an embarrassing way to continue with the turn, but... <laughs> it, it really allows us, like, a lot more uh, control over the fight, because we're only getting attacked once every two turns. And Scrying has been, like, crazy, man. I don't even know if we're going to attack this turn, so... So now what's the play? Now we're like, uh... We're waiting. I'm just thinking now. I think we're just playing blocks, man. Now we're just waiting for uh, the lethal turn with the expunger, I think. So he's not attacking this turn, which to me means... We probably just play... We, we probably screwed up the order a little bit, but... Oh, we drew the Expunger. With Sands of Time, there's no way it doesn't get there. I don't know what to tell you, okay? I'm not really satisfied with this one either, but a win's a win. <laughs> if you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And of course, I'll see you next time. Later!